Well, thankfully, we've got a bright and breezy afternoon here in Birmingham after the rain-affected or rain-ruined game in Leeds. That is powerfully struck by Phil Salt, over cover, driving the ball on the up to finish with a boundary, eight for non, one gone. Wide of mid-on. Again, not sweetly timed, but it's as much power as anything else that gets that ball to the rope. Just giving himself a, a touch of room there to try and create a little bit of width. The line was tight enough, but it was because Butler had moved just a fraction. As strong their bowling lineup can be. Another four down the ground again. This is a, a good over for England. It's the third boundary in it. Couple to Butler, one to Phil Salt, and England starting to motor now. Play a very important role. Here's Imad Wasim. Get it! Phil Salt up and over and wide of mid on, but yeah! not wide enough. Huge cheers greet the first wicket for Pakistan. It is Shaheen at long on to take the catch. That is a magnificent shot. That's the best of the day so far. Goes leg side, doesn't quite uh, get this as well, and it plugs at mid-wicket and just beats Shaheen to the fence. <laughs> Men are up there behind square on the offside, so this will be sliced away and it will run away to the fence. An expensive first over from Harris Ralph, England, 44 for one. Barber back as captain. <laughs> That was in the slot, a bit of width, and Jax is too good to miss out. Power play done, 53 for one, England. Get in! Sliced away, flayed away, behind square on the offside, and that will run away. Nina. Big shot, leg side, I reckon he's got most of that he has, way, way back. Brilliant from Butler, 67 for one. Again, wide. Shadab, expensive. And the reverse sweep. Going through their full repertoire, these two, Butler and Jax. There. And then the fast hands and the ability takes over. And that's four more. Yeah, Butler's kept Harris Row very busy on that outside boundary. <laughs> Slices to backward point. Simple catch. The breakthrough has come after the break. Pakistan now had two. <laughs> Down the leg side, you would think. Harris Ralph is very animated in his conversation with the wicketkeeper, Azam Khan. Original decision not out. Pitching in line, impact outside. Michael, you can stay with your not out decision. You're on screen now. Very well bowled and very well dug out too by... Butler scoops, trademark shot, six, wonderful batting, takes him to 50. Terrific half-century from England's captain. Oh, oh, that's incredible. What an amazing shot from England's captain. That has gone miles. Incredible. Placed it, timed it, four, fabulous over for England. 20 from it, 130 for two. Has he got enough of it to get it over the field? And no, straight into his hands. Gene Shah Afridi celebrates mid-pitch. He's been expensive, but best though depart. And uh, Iftikhar takes the safe catch, again out of the back of the hand. So Bairstow has got to try and put the pace on the ball. He can't quite put enough of it on it. And uh, that is safely held. So Pakistan have their third. Comes and goes after 
with two deliveries. Excellent bowling yet again from Imad Wazim. He goes pace off and long on circles. Takes a brilliant catch. In the context of the game, that is a huge wicket. Shut up, Khan. Brilliant. Low four toss. Straight to the man and long on. Mohamed Rizwan circled. It's a beautiful catch. Usually hits the low full toss out the ground. Moeen Ali did not time this at all. And the crowd reaction told you everything. Six deep again. And this should be a simple catch. It is a simple catch. Pakistan take another wicket. That of Chris Jordan. And have regained momentum in this game. They've lost five for 25 now. A collapse from England. Smart bowling from Pakistan. Another short ball. Jordan in no control. Excellent finish from Mohamed Amir. Brilliant comeback. Catch. And he's gone. England draw first blood right away. And Rizwan goes for a duck. Well, the planning from England, excellent. In a very typical Barbara Azam fashion, through the offside, Pakistan will pick up their first boundary and it comes off the bat of the Pakistan skipper. Catch it! Oh, he hit it. I think he's hit it. It also seems to be the call from Joss Butler. And we will have a look. This one's again up in the air. Another chance and taken. Edge Baston erupts because the home team have picked up now too. They continue to struggle. The pressure of dot balls. Rizwan a couple of dot balls, then a wicket. Ayub a few dot balls and then a wicket. And the short ball does for him. Salt in the deep. Excellent from England. Just away. Oh, Moin Ali with his outstretched hand. Another opportunity, this time just away, and they do pick up a boundary. Cheeky, and it works. He moved early, and he does pick up a boundary, Fakhar Zaman. It's 27 for two on the boundary. This is brilliant, absolutely brilliant from Fakhar Zaman. This is some counter attack from Pakistan. He goes through the offside and he also picks up a boundary. I think the crowd are chanting his name and he's been planted back over his head. Right now, Jock Archer, you're back in international cricket. You're back in a battle, this time with the Pakistan captain, Barbara Azam. <laughs> Big appeal given by Martin Saggers on the field. What does Pakistan's captain do? The original decision is out. Pitching outside off. Impact is in line and wickets is hitting. Martin, you can stay with your out decision. You're on screen. Ends the partnership of 53. Moen Ali has his second wicket. Catch it. Tries to take him down. It's Chris Jordan. It's Chris Jordan. He does not drop them. Chris Jordan. He is phenomenal in the outfield. Not appealing for a edge. I think it's a stumping. So Martin Saggers, I think we'll ask Russell Warren, who's the third umpire, to have a look. The ball's taken fairly. 
Foot's grounded as the stumps are broken. Expectations a little. And a catch to extra cover. It's Moeen Ali and Jofra Archer, after more than a year out from international duty, now has a huge smile on his face through and over the extra cover region. He goes straight, he doesn't like it, he should be out. It's Harry Brook, and Brook takes the catch. The change has worked, the change to Livingston, and that is a big wicket for England. Fakhar is the most dangerous player that Pakistan have. Strong shot down the ground, tries to split long off and long on and does so. Lovely use of the feet, balance, poise and power and six find themselves in a position to catch England up. That's tossed up, and Iftikhar goes down the ground and goes down the ground and a long way into the crowd for six more. Up and over, backward point and third man, that'll go away for four. Imad Wazim is having a good day so far. Wide Yorker again, field set perfectly. Besto, not so perfect. Yet yeah, hand up straight away. For Johnny Besto. And to rub Salt into the wound. Four followed by a big hit, downwind into the crowd. Now it's gone high. It's Jordan, it's the man they won under it. It's gone up for an age. It's gone into the bucket hands of Jordan. He makes no mistake. He rarely does. Balls like this come down with snow on it. Straight up all the elevation, no distance. Jordan, excellent yet again. He steadies himself. Positions his head and his hands. Great technique watching the ball all the way in. He goes full, there's a man out there and he takes the catch. England's fielding, excellent. Livingston at point, the danger man Imad Wazim goes and with him probably Pakistan's hopes. Edged and gone for four. Muhammad Amir, I think, will indicate he is meant to do this. From 12. Now, yeah, I think that's pretty, pretty close. Martin Saggers agrees. The 3D reviews. Review. Original decision is out. Impact is outside leg. Martin, can you change your decision to not out? Yeah, good review from Afridi. And again, slow ball Yorker. Too good from Jordan. What an end to the innings he's having in the field. And now with the ball. Smart cricket from England. Important to get death overs in. Sounded decent. Is it decent enough? I don't think so. Hitting into the wind. Phil Salt takes a catch at deep mid wicket. And in the end, a convincing victory for the man and the men in red. Brilliant from England. Absolutely outstanding with the bash. Finished off. The combination of Topley and Salt. They have looked. Very, very impressive.